Okay, so I'm just sitting in my car because I'm low-key embarrassed, so... You know how when you can't find a parking spot, so you drive, you drive, you drive, all the way up to like the pedestrian spot? And you have to turn to go into like another lane of parking lots. Does that make sense? Well, I was waiting for the people to go past the stop sign and the lady was like, no, go ahead, go ahead. So I pull out and I, <laughs> I went over the curb. I went over the curb. <laughs> Lord, I'm so embarrassed. So I'm like, just sitting here. You ever done that? One time I was trying to beat the cars that were coming from my left. So I went to go make this right turn and went over the curb one time. I was so embarrassed. I pulled over into the Chipotle parking lot. <laughs> I hate this! I'm not embarrassed, I'm a G. That's unconsensual, whatever the heck it is. I don't want to get people on camera. Anyway, yes! I am so excited for today's video because y'all know how much I love hygiene shopping. In today's video, we are going to be going hygiene shopping. I actually got noticed by one of my subbies, one of my sisters today. She was like, wait a minute, I have a quick question. Are you on YouTube? You do those self-care videos. I'm like, yeah. She's like, I love your videos. By the way, you smell amazing. I'm like, thank you so much. I love y'all so much. So y'all know your girl loves hygiene shopping. I love smelling good yeah I love smelling good so we're gonna go hygiene shopping today where am I parked at exactly good job you're gonna get an A plus you're outside of Target and then we're gonna go to Marshall's because Marshall's is right here Target and then Marshall's and then across the street is Macy's I have $30 in star money that I want to spend so I'm gonna buy a perfume this freaking perfume that I have on today is so heavily complimented since I always drive Jordan's car I just call his car my car but that is not my car and that is why the dashboard looks like that not saying I couldn't help to clean it because I definitely am now but that is Jordan's dustiness it's this freaking Lolia perfume they don't really sell it nowhere except for this little antique shop where I live and then certain websites online if I find it I'm gonna to go ahead and link it down below it's this lolia number 20 something i don't know it's a really beautiful perfume okay so they actually added it to amazon so i'm gonna go ahead and add it to my amazon storefront because they have it on amazon prime so it'll be on my amazon storefront under chloe's hygiene phase i have it linked down below i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be able to find it it smells so Check it out for yourself. Read the top notes, middle notes, and base notes. Y'all know I don't really get into all of that too much. I just like what I like. I'm rambling. Let's go into Target. I smell great. And that's the perfume I'm wearing. So, also, my fiance is with me as security. Yes, sir. Even though I could be him up personally. <laughs> just got kidding. Hands. Let's get into this Target, girl, because I'm about to go hygiene shopping and restock on my Holy Grails. Smelling good for L. Mm -hmm. And I have arrived to my favorite store in the world. Yes, ma'am. So we are getting ready to go ahead and get started getting everything I want and need. So you're going to tell me that from the time I walked to my car into Target, I lost an earring? Where did my earring go? Tell me. Where, where did it go? Where's it at? I already found a super cute spot sparkly shave cream what the heck is going on y'all know i'm not too picky with my shave creams but if i see a cute one or a new one i'll go ahead and try it so i guess this is the new billy whipped shave cream girl y'all know i have to try this but while we're at it i do want to go ahead and talk about where is it where is it where is it where are the eos right here let's talk about it okay so i recently went into my hygiene closet to grab a shave cream okay and i picked up the pink that didn't happen huh i picked up the pink eos shave cream first of all i loved it it went on like buttercream i don't know what the heck y'all know i don't really care for shave creams like that but the EOS one, how did I forget? But not only does it work amazing as a shave cream, this is why I'm so obsessed with it. Y'all know my skin is so dry on Accutane. If you have dry skin, use this as an in-shower lotion before you head out of the shower. It says it on the bottle that you can use it as an, why don't this bottle say it? What? The one I have at home says in-shower lotion. The one I have at home, how old is my bottle at home? Anyways, if they didn't change the formula, these work amazing as in shower body lotion. So I just go ahead, get a couple pumps and distribute it all over my body. I let it sit for like 30 seconds, then I rinse it off and then I'm good. But you wanna go ahead and do that before you do your feminine hygiene because you don't want this traveling downstairs. So this before washing, if you get what I'm saying. But which one should I get? They have vanilla bliss and lavender. I think I might wanna do lavender. Okay, I love that. 
Oh, for sure, lavender. The vanilla doesn't really have a have a scent. So I'm gonna grab this because I love it as a shave cream and an in shower body lotion. Okay, so this Chic Hydro Silk Sensitive Care Razor used to be my top favorite razor ever, you guys. Um, as of right now, I just finished out this box of Olay Comfort Glide Refills. That works amazing, you guys, but I kind of want to go back to my old favorite razor or I want to retry the Intuition Sensitive Care Razor. So I'm like, which one should I do? Can you help me make a decision? Yeah, what's up? Should I? Which one should I get? I know that one looks big and like super fun. What do you think? Uh, this one looks a little clunky. Clunky? A little key. But this one has like a weird bottom too. So I used this, to love that one. Then you should probably get this one. Unless you want to try something new actually. Wait. Actually, I think you should get this one. But I have tried that one before. Oh. I liked it. Then you should get this one. It sounds like you like this more. Yeah, it does sound like that, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab this razor. How many extra? Okay, it does have two extra heads to work with. But I go through those pretty fast, so I'm still going to grab an extra refill box. Because why not? Thank you. You're welcome. I also stopped by the feminine hygiene section because I got an email from like the Target subscription and they were saying how Lumi just dropped brand new products in Target. I'm like, girl, I literally just went online and purchased Lumi body wash, bar soap, wipes, all of that because I'm kind of obsessed. I don't want to speak too soon, but Lumi is out of this world. It is a body care um, line, but mainly they advertise their whole body deodorant. It's made by a gynecologist and you can use it on your whole entire body. All of her products you can use on your whole entire body. So I grabbed her acidified deodorant wipes. Let's turn this phone off. Turn off the ringer, honey. And then I also grabbed the acidified body wash um, and you can use these everywhere you guys there's not one place on your body you cannot use them yes you can use it there too it's amazing i'm rambling but lumi is amazing so i went to the feminine hygiene section because they have the body wash and the wipes there but oh they have the lumi deodorant in this section i tried the cream doesn't smell good at all so my trick is just to go ahead and use the regular stick deodorant and use this everywhere even downstairs just rub your hand on top back and forth warm it up it'll turn into a cream and you can use it downstairs and there will be literally no odor so i already have the lavender sage which i really do enjoy i'm gonna go ahead and grab the peony rose because i really want to go ahead and try this and yes i use these every single day on my whole entire body i'm also gonna grab a dove deep moisture body wash because you guys know i'm on accutane so i need as much moisture as possible and Dove gets me right each and every time. This is their most moisturizing body wash, except for the new ones they came out with. They came out with these new dry skin, body love body washes, but I noticed that they don't get as soapy and y'all know I love my soapiness. So I'm gonna put that back. My apologies for the obnoxious cart. I put my Starbucks um, cup in there because I didn't want to put it in the cup holder because the camera focuses on my cup. So when I put it in like the little baby seat area, it just rattled back and forth. Did I get everything that I needed from this section? Okay, so I did forget something in this section. I just used my last drop of 10 skin and y'all know I gotta have my 10 skin, okay? If not, I'll be irritated and in pain. All right, so I got my 10 skin. Y'all, this stuff is $20 like how but it works amazing like it's worth that 20. Ugh. all right i'm gonna grab another bottle of snuggle love to smell like snuggle and you know what this isn't hygiene related but i do need to get some more plugins for my house okay so i'm doing air wick right now y'all know i've tried like every single kind of plug-in right now i'm really obsessed with air wick and i am going to grab hmm. I love hearing people laugh because that means happiness. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the fresh linen plugins. Man, if I would have had this back in my public schooling days, y'all, I don't even know why I say public schooling. I could, dang, you ain't focusing at all. They don't wanna see you. Uh, <laughs> Um, back in my school days, I really wish I would have had this. I wish I would have had Lumi. I wish I would have had Tan Skin. Oh my gosh, there's no reason to struggle when there are products like this out. And then I just gave you some floss. So I'm going to go ahead and grab myself another bag of floss. Do you need another one? No, there's plenty. Okay. <laughs> 
And then you guys, if you like this tongue scraper, look on my Amazon storefront. I have a tongue scraper on there that you can save so much money because you can continue to reuse them for forever. My trick with the tongue scraper on my Amazon storefront is to flip it over and use it the opposite way because it's way more effective that way. And I don't know why I'm buying this expensive um, floss as if I can't get more for a better price. But I don't care because the bag's pink. <laughs> Man, this is a throwback because I used to use Arm & Hammer toothpaste. And when I tell y'all, this stuff works, but I completely forgot about it. So which one should I get? They got advanced, yeah, advanced white for sure. I'm gonna grab one of these. I need tons of improvement, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of those. Oh my goodness, they got the baby Therabreath. <laughs> That is so cute. So I also went ahead and picked up this Aussie hairspray because when I tell you guys I love the smell of Aussie hairspray, it makes my hair smell amazing. I remember um, when my grandpa, he went and kissed me on my head. He was like, oh my gosh, honey, your hair smells so good. And it was the Aussie hairspray. And he said that because he was obsessed with the Aussie smell as well. So a bunch of people walked past me the other day and I don't know who it was, but they were smelling like straight up Aussie hairspray. And that stuff smells amazing. So I smell a couple of the hairsprays, but the only one that has the original fragrance is this mega flexible hairspray oh my gosh y'all when i tell you guys this stuff brings back so many memories i'm so obsessed this stuff will have you smelling amazing when you slick your hair back put some of that up in there girl I can't stand when they switch the smells of stuff like the the gentle exfoliating dove body wash that stuff used to smell like straight up greatness now it just smells like a bamboo stick i don't know but it's disgusting and y'all know 10 skin and neosporin are best friends you guys they work together amazingly for after you shave i'm gonna go ahead and link down below my intimate shaving routine because y'all will know what i use neosporin for i'm gonna grab the big bottle and the very golly <laughs> The very last item I need from Target are my Intimate Razor Refills. Yes, ma'am. And we're done with our Target trip. I thought you said one last thing. You love your clothes to smell good, too. Yeah, you're right. Those smell mm. amazing, and I want to smell like those. I'm going to barely buy anything in Marshalls, but I still want to go. I got a $15 gift card, thank the Lord, but I just do not know how... How did it come up to $249.07? Do y'all recall me buying that much stuff? Cause I don't remember. The most expensive thing, no. What's going on? I can do some damage in Target. I don't know, but I love Target. I really do love Target, I love them. Like I told y'all recently, I just be talking sometimes, but I do be serious. Obviously I'm gonna go to Walmart again one day, but I just don't feel comfortable with them right now because how you gonna tell me I can't film in your store? I mean, you can tell me that, but it's odd how like certain employees would come up to me and be like, oh my gosh, like that is so cool what you're doing. And then another employee is like, you can't record here. And then they back her up. And then we call a better store named Target. Okay, we call the manager and he's like, I don't care if y'all from my store. Y'all straight, y'all good. And the reason why I said I'd just be talking is because y'all know that the employee had followed us around in Dick's Sporting Goods that one time and he told us we couldn't record. We went to Dick's Sporting Goods the other day and we still bust. <laughs> but I just feel some kind of way about the Walmart interaction because she was nasty. Yeah, Walmart was different than that. Yeah, she was so nasty. She was like, the whole entire time she saw me like smiling and recording. I'm like, girl, you're really mad right now. And if I was a mean girl, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if I was mean. I'm just joking, but yeah. Uh, $300, yeah. It was the game. It was the game. It was the game beads. I'm not blaming it on that, but I'm just saying I never- No, I'm blaming it on that. I never buy laundry beads because, hopefully this doesn't slide. I never buy laundry beads because they're always so, the key's not in the ignition. What are the keys? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to take off. One time I was at the church, this one church, and um, I hadn't put my keys in the ignition. I'm freaking out. I'm like, mom, mom, there's snot coming out of my nose. What is happening? I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> embrace it. I'm not going to embrace it because it's on my freaking face. I come, I'm like, mom, like my car, what the heck? Key one in the ignition. Okay, you want in the ignition? Let me not get over a curb. It's a little harder when you have a bigger car and you gotta make them turns. I'm used to my little car. Ooh, I'll be cute. Yes, ma'am. We was in Target, y'all. There was this couple in there. 
and I love to see couples have fun, but I'm not gonna lie, they were just being obnoxious at this point. They're just like this, they're talking like this, just everywhere. They're like almost bumping into us, you guys. They're so close to us, right? So I took that as a perfect opportunity. Y'all are so loud, you're so close to me. I'm gonna pull out my camera and I'm just gonna start filming because I know when cameras come out, people start, ooh, I'm sorry. I put out the camera, she's like, shh, be quiet, shh, get out the lane, get out the, get out the aisle. I'm just joking, I'm not a Karen. Oh, you guys, I bought this at Dick's Sporting Goods. Dick Sporting Goods has Kool-Aid energy drinks and they have um, Sunny D energy drinks. What happened? Girl, I don't know. Mm. We just pulled up to Marshalls. When I went to go reach for the camera, I turned the camera off. But we just pulled up to Marshalls. And I want you to show my outfit. My hair is frizzy and gross today, but I want you to show my outfit. It's cute. I show Will. It definitely is cute. I'll tell y'all that right okay, now. Okay, girl. Right now. Okay, girl. <laughs> Come on now. Let's go up into Marshalls and see what I can find. I'm honestly just going to look straight at the fragrance because I want to see if they have any like cheap fragrance. And I'm going to to Macy's and get this perfume. I don't know if I want to get it. I'm going to smell it again to make sure. But they got this new Fame Paco Robin perfume. Let's see. Let's just go to Marshalls. Come on, babe. Let's do it. Come on, babe. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> Should I get this? Who's this? This stuff is so expensive online, and they have it here. They have the conditioner and the shampoo, but it's 40 bucks for the shampoo. But I feel like I should get it because I think it's originally like 80 90 If that's the case, that's a really good deal. It is the case. And then this is $14.99. I believe this is like 30 Should I get it? Oh, shoot. If you're going to use it all, I mean, that's a really good deal. Exactly. I'm going to get it. Okay. I don't know why I'm spending all this on hygiene, but why not? I'm the hygiene queen. Ooh, they even have some Amica, but that's for colored hair. Ooh. Curl Charisma, Curl Defining Conditioner. Yes, Brioche Yo. They come into Marshalls. We need it. They have the co-wash. Oh, my so gosh. is that just a really good brand? Then? Very good brand. Very, very, very. Okay. Hair care. Stop playing. They got the big shampoo. I love this Kristen S shampoo. Oh, shoot. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but you probably shouldn't worry about it. Y'all need to stay up on my business. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why are so many embarrassing things happening today? What the heck? So I forgot that I paid all of my bills today. Somebody keep, they, they're not even stopping, but now they are. All right, you can go. I forgot that I paid all of my bills today and my bank gives me a spending limit each day. And since I paid all my bills and I wanted to go shopping, I went over my spending limit and my car declined twice. Huh. So that was kind of embarrassing. So I had to pull out another card. I'm like, no, sir, ain't no way it's declining. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hold on. But I forgot today was bill day, so I definitely went over my spending limit. But at least he wasn't one of those people, you know, that'd be waiting to, to do that, like, mm, decline. Exactly. That'd be so loud with it. No, he was super cool. So super, to, super cool. I didn't mean to scream in your ear like that. Oh, no, you're the one that has a problem with people screaming in your ear. Yeah, that's facts. Even if they're not screaming, I don't uh, have a problem. Y'all, he be getting so mad when I be loud. <laughs> I'm a loud person. He was like, ah, oh, babe, come on. I, I sounded like about 68 years old. What you saying? I was like, ah, oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so anyways, what had happened was he said, your total is 175. I said, what? He said 175. He said, ain't no way that came up to 175. He said, it must be my mistake. Okay, I scanned something twice. So he scanned something twice. Can you go ahead and look at the receipt just to make sure that he scanned everything right? Yeah, yeah. Because my total still came up to 125, which sounds about right with those shampoos and stuff. But basically, I didn't get much footage in there because I didn't barely get anything. All I ended up getting was um was a makeup cleaner, like makeup brush cleaner palette thing. And that was it, right babe? Yeah, pretty much. Right? You got some hair care, that makeup brush cleaner because you be sitting there for like an hour. Uh, Do I have the receipt? Not in there. You probably emailed it to me too. I think so because I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's paper. probably in my purse. Yeah, because you didn't hand it to me. Look yet. in there. Okay, I got you. Just to make sure, because... What is all this on me right now? I don't know what all that stuff on your pants this, is. Yes, this. Okay. Is it? Is everything on there? It better not be nothing double on there. I'm going to look at everything make sure. $14.99, $12.99, $14.99, $14.99, $12.99. So, yeah. Everything's right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, I had just ended up grabbing one more thing. Can you hand me that pinkish bottle? I love your car, babe. I call it my car. You do? Because what's yours is mine. <laughs> I'm gonna park in two parking spots so nobody parks near us. It's rude, but there's nobody out here, so who cares? What you gotta do? That's not it. That's not it. That's not... my colorblind. 
that's that's kind of pink so i had picked up this makeup brush cleaner because i really need a makeup brush cleaner and it goes in the sink what a blessing um the pink bottle baby and then i also went ahead and grabbed this living proof curl definer um i've heard a lot of great things about the living proof brand so i went ahead and grabbed this for my curls yes ma'am i am parked outside of macy's i cannot record a macy's they make that very very clear which i respect let's go see what i'm finna go bye y'all you never show my outfit you're right what you finna do i don't know why i was holding it like why is he holding it like he's been a spray what you finna do <laughs> <laughs> he never showed my he want to show my outfit outside yeah i'll do that let's do that noise. we got a little bit of a night tonight though because i still have to do his hair and that takes four hours it's already five o'clock though who cares i'm still gonna do still it i'm gonna do it I'm a woman of my word, sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Today I am. <laughs> Boom. Look at the outfit, look at the outfit. Ooh, hold on now. Uh. Shoes from H&M. Okay. Pants from Target. Okay. Uh, little sweatshirts from Marshalls. Okay. H&M. H&M. <laughs> Target. Total outfit cost $3,982. <laughs> she walking with confidence today. I love whenever she's a confident her. It's so awesome. Babe. Oh, she ignore me? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, now we coming out of Macy's. What's up? What'd you get? I yeah. don't know. I'm pocket watching. I'm pocket watching. <laughs> <laughs> my hat's flying up. Look, oh my the gosh, car. Hold on. Oh! oh, shuttle, shuttle, shuttle. <laughs> get in the shuttle. She's so pretty, y'all. She's done so well today. I'm so freaking proud of her. Look at her pretty little smile. Oh, shoot. I got the keys. Okay, it's not funny. I got the keys. Hey. What you thought I didn't? Dang. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. I am so, 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 so blessed. Y'all, so a prayer that I pray every single morning before I leave the house is <laughs> I always ask the Lord Jesus Christ to go before me. And I always ask that he prepares the hearts of the people that I'm going to encounter. Also soften the hearts of the people that I'm going to encounter. And when I tell you guys, it has made such a big of a difference in the people that I encounter on a daily. I can't get into every single person that I have encountered and all the stories since I began to pray that prayer, but it's definitely something that I really encourage you guys to do because it can really make the biggest difference or it really will make the biggest difference in your day. And so we ran into the cool guy in Marshall. He's like, are you guys content creators? that's so cool blah blah like i'll absolutely subscribe and then today in macy's i wanted to get this brand new paco Rabanne fame perfume it's this new i have to take it out the box can you take it out the box for me babe oh shoot. it's so cute i gotta rip it yeah you gotta rip that part uh -oh. so i really wanted that fragrance and then i looked up and i seen these bags and i was like how do i get that bag she was like you want the bag if you want the bag i get you the bag you want that bag i'm gonna get you that bag I was like, oh my gosh, how sweet of her. But she got me a bag. She gave me a bag, you guys. She gave me a Paco Rabanne bag. I'm so excited. Who the heck is Paco Rabanne? <laughs> no, but I wanted the bag because I really did. She's like, girl, I got you. And I got $30 off in star money. Free bag plus $30 off. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. That's a good trick. I think it was $114. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look how beautiful. Look how freaking beautiful. Can you take it out so I can yeah. spray it? And I'm going to ask you how you feel about it. Even though I always know he's going to approve of every fragrance that I pick out because I pick out amazing fragrances. <laughs> Be real. I'm really good with fragrances. I don't yeah, know what it no, is. Like, are. I'm really good with mixing fragrances and making new fragrances out of mixed fragrances. I'm just really good with fragrance and hygiene. I just really am. I have to give that to myself because I really, I do my thing on it. I'm not going to lie. And I always smell good. <laughs> it's on a receipt, so it's giving receipt smell, but just smell the perfume. Well, on the receipt, it smells good. Oh my gosh, I love that. So this is more of a warmer perfume that I'm going to mix with a lighter perfume for the summertime because this isn't too summery. I would definitely say it's more fall like but if you mix it right like with fresh coconut and cotton or with the cotton perfume that i get at jesse penny's girl mm, mm, i wasn't gonna get the full size but since i had 30 dollars off i said might as well and it looks like a little nutcracker 
It's so freaking cute. Yeah. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. What you doing? I miss you. I miss you, boo boo. I'm so happy my jeans are not nasty because I'm always super worried about if they're too long, if they're gonna get nasty. And honestly, they didn't even get that nasty. Like, I don't see any dirt. I am so obsessed with this outfit, you guys. I am in love. I feel so confident in it. I know my hair looks super frizzy. That's because I slept on it last night without putting it up because it's way better for your hair to just like leave it down. I also grabbed some twist. I also grabbed some of those Clorox twist. I also grabbed some of those Clorox toilet wand refills. And of course, you guys seen those plugins. Um, I also grabbed these super cute nails. Are these not adorable? And I can easily file these to look super expensive and salon like, like acrylic like. Girl, yes. But this is everything that I purchased. Jordan is looking in the car right now just to make sure nothing fell underneath the seats. But this is everything that I purchased today, you guys. This little bit of stuff cost me so much freaking money, but y'all know I love my hygiene and y'all know these products are gonna get used oh I, you did leave some stuff in the car uh, so, yeah these were under the seat oh so you were right the thank you babe stuff. you're welcome I got two things a fabric softener because fabric softener get my clothes smelling a one I never buy these gain beads or beads period for my laundry because they're just so expensive what are you down here uh, whining for or are you yawning mm -hmm. oh look at all that peanut butter okay so our vet literally right before we took off to film we took her to the vet and our vet gave her some peanut butter because she had to get her blood drawn and the lady tried to wipe it off. And our vet was like, no, she'll just lick it off. She'll just lick it off. And the lady was like, no, I wanna wipe it off because I don't want it on her face, it's on her fur. She's like, no, she'll lick it off. So she didn't lick it off. I cannot wait to use this to clean my makeup brushes, you guys. It's gonna be so easy to clean them now. Oh my gosh. This was definitely one of my favorite hygiene shopping trips ever because I literally got everything I wanted and needed. And now I'm fully stocked up on everything that I needed. Him and his dog, he be thinking she a baby. He holds her like a baby. He holds her like a toddler. I don't know what be going on. She is a baby. She trusts him like none other. Mm -hmm. My 10 piece nugget, nugget, nugget. First of all, I have been prolonging ending this video for so long, but hey, it's extra footage, who cares? We've been sitting here for like a million years. <laughs> <laughs> okay which fast food restaurant has the best fries to you guys because i just tried culver's fries the other day for the first time oh my gosh you guys stop playing it depends on my mood because i love wendy's fries with their ranch and then everybody loves mcdonald's fries and then culver's arby's ain't all that good it's really not. You get it's sick really of them not. fast, mm, too. You get sick of them fast. They good at first, then you get sick of them. Yep. So, talk about it in the comments. But girl, I got my fries and my ranch. I also got chicken nuggets, but I really want my fries right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my fries. If you are wondering why in my next vlog his hair's not done, that's because I already filmed that vlog. So basically, when you're a content creator and you do collaborations, the company that you're doing a collaboration with, they have to confirm that you can post that video. Like they have to review it and say, hey, we love it. Go ahead and post it. So I'm waiting for the company to review my video so I can post the video, but they are on vacation right now for the next couple of days. So I haven't been able to post the video. So if you're wondering why in my next video, his hair is not done and I'm talking about some, I just put these nails on. That's why, because they're, they're not in order. Who else can relate that Wendy's, their fries and ranch. Oh, and Chick-fil-A. We forgot about Chick-fil-A. Yeah. They're fries. Okay, Chick-fil-A, their stuff is like top tier. Jesus really makes the biggest difference in relationships. Our relationship would have been failed without Jesus. Because one thing about Jesus is if, let's say I acted out and I disrespected Jordan, if I didn't have Jesus to tell me, hey, uh-uh, you know that ain't right. You better go back and apologize to him. Put your pride aside and tell me exactly what to do in situations, we'd have been failed. But with prayer and obedience, I love my relationship. Oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine me with anybody else. Like, I literally love my relationship so much. Like, he's for me, I'm for him. We fit, we are perfect for each other. And I'm just so grateful that Jesus created you for me. He placed us on this earth for each other. Exactly, it's all planned out. Ain't that wild? Yes, it's very wild. And problems start to happen when you step out of the will of God. Mm -hmm. So if one of us were to accept temptation, not saying that we're being tempted because personally, what the heck? Because personally, oh my gosh, that right there, that shop right there, uh -huh. 
I spent so much money on this dinky van we had trying to get it fixed. They repainted it. What? Girl, nothing nothing worked. We was there one day. We had to walk all the way over here to this store. It didn't used to be sold. It used to be a chicken place. Uh, not a chicken place. <laughs> it used to be a grocery store. And I was like, what's this smell? What's this smell? And the lady was like, I'm just going to be real with you. I shouldn't tell you this, but that chicken that you're buying, it's rotten. I was oh. like, what? She was like, all that stuff back there is rotten. No wonder why it's closed down. So wow. I didn't buy it, of course. And we had to get an Uber back home. That's when I got a nice amount of money. And I remember coming home from my braces appointment. And I remember being like, mom, we're going to get a car this month. Oh my I'm going to start crying because I remember being like, mom, like it's going to happen. Like we don't have to be without a car. Anyways, so I got my mama a car and I was just so grateful. Anyways, I was talking about something else. Yeah, not saying that we're being tempted because girl, I don't care about nobody but my man. I don't care about nobody but my fiance. I'm in love with my fiance. My eyes are on my fiance. My heart is for my fiance. But if we were to accept the devil's bait and temptation to commit adultery, that's when bad things happen. I watched a Tyler Perry movie with this one time and this lady had an amazing husband, but there was this guy at her job that had a lot of money, he was very well known, drive nice cars, lives in a mansion, blah, blah, blah. She started messing around with him. Her mama said, he's from the devil. Stop playing around, he is from the devil. Well, he ended up putting his hands on her and he ended up giving her some kind of disease from, like it was sexually transmitted and she had that for the rest of her life and she lost her husband even though he saved her from the guy, but he knew he couldn't deal with that anymore. She lost her husband, she lost her family unit, all for the devil's bait. She walked out with nothing. And her husband ended up finding a really nice lady and ended up settling, settling down, yeah, whoa, and having a beautiful marriage. So it's just, if you step out of the will of God, he has to say, hey, I'm gonna let you figure it out. I'm still here, but I have to allow certain things to happen because you've stepped out from underneath my wings and so i know the lord and bless me with this amazing man girl i ain't gonna screw that up because who knows what'll happen stepping out to something the lord didn't give you or bless you with that's so dangerous okay so it is the end of the night you guys i am super tired i just showered and took off my makeup yes ma'am i feel super fresh and also super tired when i get out of the shower you guys i'm so freaking tired i didn't even dry my lashes i didn't even put on lotion i look like crust. I don't even know what I'm wearing and I don't even know why I have so much like LA California clothing. Nothing against California or LA. I just, I think you know what I'm getting at. I'm not the biggest fan of the shenanigans that go on there. But there's a lot of shenanigans that go on everywhere. I'm just, I think people get what I'm saying. I don't know, my sisters in California are just like, okay, so you're just gonna count us out. You gonna act like I wasn't born and raised here. You gonna act like we any different. No, I'm not talking about the people. I love you guys. I just don't like what goes on there. Or Miami or Las Vegas. And I went to Miami and I had to figure it out. That taught me a lesson. I thought I wanted to go places. I don't want to go anywhere. Huh, I'm gonna stay here. Unless I'm going somewhere to make some money or to go see a family member or like, no. Anyways, I'm just running because I'm tired. I just have on some random H&M shorts and this California shirt. Bye. Wait, I feel like I had something else to say. I did Jordan's hair. Yes, ma'am. I don't even know how I almost forgot that, but it looks amazing, babe. You look great. Thank you so much. Now it's haircut time. So mm -hmm. when are you gonna get your haircut? I might do it tomorrow. That would be nice. Oh, come on, my soul. Oh, don't you get shy on me. Lift up your song. Cause you've got a lion inside of those lungs. Get up and pray.